to my channel, Starlight Starbright 70. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are new, welcome, come on in. Uh, today, I've got a Timu haul, but it's a sponsor Timu haul. Um, I picked the Loving Pets campaign, and so I'm really excited about it. Um, I have taken the sh short little videos of uh, my little doggies already, so of course they'll be in the video today. Um, but yeah, if you don't know what Timu is, it's an online marketplace that has thousands of sellers and thousands of products. Uh, the benefits of Timu is uh, it's got free shipping, it's got a uh, 90 day money back guarantee, it has a thing called price adjustments. So within a month, whatever you have ordered, if the seller um, lowers the price at all, you will get the difference. You just have to go into your orders and click on the little button that says price adjustments. Um, but they got uh, lightning deals. They have uh, 20, 30 and 40 to 50% off deals. They have 90% off deals. Um, but yeah, Timu is, has been awesome. Uh, I've been shopping with them for over a year, almost a year and a half now, I'd say. Um, and I have had no, really no complaints. There's a few things that have come broken and, uh, but with the easy return, it's been no issue and I've gotten credit right back. So, uh, I have to say, say, yeah. I, I really love Timu. <laughs> I always say, ooh, I love me some Timu. Um, but today I've got on my little earrings that I purchased from Timu way back uh, when, I, when I first uh, started Timu, or shopping on Timu. Uh, I've got my little puppy necklace on. I call it puppy, but it's a heart with a paw in it. I don't know if you can see that. And then I got a little heart here, and then it's got a little paw on it. You can all see that. There you go. And that also comes to Timu. Timu is nice because they do have uh, extra, extra, extra large sizes for us plus size women. Um, or we want to be called BBWs. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. But yeah. Uh, so, so they do. Which is really nice. Um, because a lot of the online shops... When you do order clothes, they obviously come a couple sizes too small or whatever, and uh, it kind of gets frustrating trying to find clothes that fit. But with Timu, I haven't had an issue. Actually, these are actually way too big on me. So I could go a couple sizes down, but I have been losing weight as well. So <laughs> that, could be a, that could be the reason too. But, uh, but yeah. So, so yeah, Timu, like I said, is awesome. If you want to know more about the influencer program, you can, you can check the link. I also have that down below and, um, and that will kind of tell you what an influencer is, uh, and what the benefits of being an influencer. So, um, for an affiliate, I do have my link and my promo code. Uh, and what that will do is if you click on the link, and if you're a new user and you click on the link, it will give you, uh, sorry, <laughs> let's start that over again. If you're a new user or if you uh, haven't downloaded the app on your phone for the past 14 days, it has to be 14, or longer than 14 days, um, you just click on that link, it will take you to download the app again, and then uh, you have one hour to shop. After that one hour, uh, you go to um, your cart, and then you check out. Make sure you put my promo code in the little thing where it says code, and uh, it will give you. Timo will give you thirty percent off your first order. After that, you'll get a hundred dollar coupon bundle to use towards your next orders. Um, what else? Am I forgetting anything else, guys? I do this enough, so I should remember everything, but. I'm really excited. So this is my very first sponsored video. And uh, so yeah, I would really be happy if you give me a thumbs up on it. Uh, as well as uh, any kind of comments. That would be wonderful if you would do that. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. I think I covered everything regarding Timu. And uh, what they offer. Or what some of the benefits are anyway. Of... Uh, of Timu. I never ever thought in my dreams, in my wildest dreams, that I would be ever sitting behind a camera and filming and talking. Uh, I'm actually really, really shy. I'm very quiet, very 
itself kind of reserved uh, but here I am <laughs> my cheeks are getting red <laughs> but that's okay so yeah so anyway so let's get on with this exciting haul so I was able to I think I was able to pick out 15 um, items and how that worked how I got the CD money was I just um, uh, sent in my videos to Timu. They reviewed them and then they came back and they gave me something called seeding money uh, Which is towards their online campaign, which is what I picked out like I said, which was a loving pets campaign So that's how that works. So I, I was able to spend I spent $39.95 I still have some money left over. I think what they did was they combined two months So I got ended up getting $70 but because I was only allowed to pick out um, the max of 15 items, I still have money to go towards my next campaign um, when I do that. So yeah. Um, so anyway, so the first item was a pet eye comb uh, tear stain remover. Uh, my little girl has tears all the time. And I've tried just about everything to uh, to get rid of them. And it's, imp it's impossible. <laughs> So, I mean, by now I'm just used to it and I just clean her eyes every day and by the end of the day she looks like a little raccoon, but she's my little raccoon. But this is just like an eyebrow pencil uh, thing. It does come taped up here. Let me take that off. But yeah, it's exactly like you would when you buy an eyebrow. So it's got the thinner ones there and it's got the thicker ones. The only difference is it's nice and long, you can see. So yeah. So I could probably do my eyebrows with it. No, it's a little bit rougher, but yeah. <laughs> but that that's the first item. So we'll see if it works. Because she does get, you know, little crusties there and stuff. So um, it will help, especially when I'm grooming her. She gets groomed like every day and uh, almost every day. Once in a while, I'll leave it a day, but not very often. Her eyes get cleaned every day. So then the second item was a, a dress and I already, like I said, she's going to be in the video. So I guess this is where I would put, this is Pixie in her dress. So uh, we'll go over that. I did pick out another dress for her though. And what I'll do is I'll probably uh, put that at the very end of the video. Is her and Ollie, but she is in a little dress, and the dress was two dollars and twenty nine cents. And it's funny, guys. So I must have really liked this dress because if you watched my other video um, the other day, I hauled the same dress that I picked for the campaign. So now she's gonna have two, which isn't a bad thing. But <laughs> so this is her other little dress. It just says on here, smile got happy faces it is a mesh in the front which is really nice so it's nice and breathable there but uh, it has quite good stretch it's not gonna be as long probably on her because she does have you know quite a long body but or longer than this anyway so but it has lots of stretch here to put a little pause in and I always look for that to make sure there's enough room and there's enough room around the neck that she's not going to, you know, be totally choked out. So, so yeah, and that was again, $2.49. Really, really cute. So if you have a little female doggy, we could have them, we could have them just the same and say they're twins. So really like that one. The next one is a bone and you're going to see a toy bone and Ollie's already grabbed that one so then the next one is another toy for Ollie and their videos are going to be at the end so yeah look look forward to that now this one was $1.99 and this one does have a squeaker in it I'm not going to squeak it because yeah he, he'll want to out that he'll want out the bedroom so fast but it's really cute. He, and he, for some reason, now they say dogs can't see colors. But anything that is green, he definitely knows. It's his favorite color. I mean, he was going after my little cactus here because it was green. So he knows. He won't touch Eeyore. He won't touch Tigger. He doesn't touch Pooh. But let me tell you, anything green, 
he just absolutely loves so anyway so yeah got him this little duck this thing will be torn probably in 15 minutes that he sometimes like to he likes to play fetch for a while and then after that he's like nope time to get that squeaky out and he's right for that squeaky so it, it does squeak so said i don't want to uh get him set off so the next thing i got was a nice little uh, blanket for pixie oh he doesn't like just stay covered up but uh, Pixie loves it, especially after her bath. So this was five dollars and ninety-nine cents. It is quite a nice large one, as you can see. Really, really nice and large. So that will be plenty big enough uh, to wrap her up in after her bath. And she just, yeah, she really, really likes it. I think it feels really, really soft too. Very soft. Very, very nice material. Not too thick, though. I don't know if you can see that. But really, really nice trim. Yeah. Really, really nice. Well, very good good quality, I would say, with the ribbing around the edges. don't see any flaws at all. So, again, just a cute little, cute little blanket for her. This is the back side of it. And again, this is... So, yeah. Yeah, she's quite funny when, uh, after her bath. And I think it's because I've done it ever since she was small. But I used to wrap her up, you know, really good after her bath. And then she would lay down beside me for like at least a good hour. Just, uh, <laughs> her just drawing off beside me. It's always so cute. The next item, oh, I think I said that one, right? $5.99? Hope so. Yeah, that was $5.99. <laughs> the next item is a cat scooper. And I bought this for my husband. <laughs> With having three cats, we're forever cleaning out their litter box. Because we do live in a small um, uh, little area. So... Uh, Right now, I've uh, I am in a in a travel trailer, as some of you may know, and um, I bought this uh, nice little uh, wooden enclosure for their cat litter and stuff to go in. So uh, it's really really nice. But this came a little bit bent, unfortunately. But I don't think it would be too much to to uh, straighten it out. So, so anyway, so I'll give you an update on this and how well it works, but I thought it was, it's a little bit bigger than what we currently have, and yeah, my husband will, will, um, be getting some really good use out of this, <laughs> but, and this one was $3.99, so, yeah, I think it'll be okay, and it, it's got, it's really got a nice, uh, screen if you can see that like I think the holes are gonna be big enough to let the sand other sand drop through and stuff for the kitty litter to drop through so I think he'll I think he'll really like that for scooping out their their litter box the next item is for me because we do have cats we I've got three cats and uh, I got one really um, fluffy kitty fluffy fluffy kitty so I bought this lint roller, so I'm hoping it will work well. Let's see, I got some hair on it on myself already. So yeah, it has picked up some. So yeah. <laughs> nice. I do usually wear black, so of course you can see all the little, little uh, fluffy hairs and stuff, and I did do the puppy's hair just before I did this video so I probably still had some of their little fluffs on me. They don't really shed which is nice but uh, they do get the little fluffs when I brush them. But yeah so it's just like this. It uh, opens up like that and then I guess you could push this out to clean I'm presuming. I don't want to do it because knowing me I'll break it. Not break it but 
I'll disassemble it and not be able to put it back together. But it does have that in the back. There are instructions. So it says simply roll it back and forth on the couch, bedding, or other surfaces. Press the button gently to open the lid. Remove all the pet hair from the dustbin. Oh, so all the pet hair would probably go into here then. This is a dustbin. Then you just clean that out. And then it says that this ruler is not suitable for the following material. Smooth, hard surfaces such as wood, tile, tile formica, and concrete. Uh, clothing and thin carpets, but I had no problem picking up what was on my clothes. And wet objects. So this will be probably really good for cleaning the blanket on the bed too. To get all the little hairs off it. So, like I said, it's, it is seems really durable. This is just plastic, though. Uh, this cost $4.49. So, like I said, it's a really nice sized one. And, you, yeah, you can even see the little fluff of hair that got on there. So, it says, maintenance. You clean the brush surface with a wet towel soaked in water or synthetic detergent. Do not wash or soak the surface of the brush in water. Do not use the brush directly on your pets. <laughs> and keep away from open flame. Yeah, I would hope so. <laughs> that is the instructions. And it was so and this is the way this is where the instructions are on here. It's really, really cute. But yeah. So there's that one. Uh, the next item was Pixie's little hat, which is a dollar ninety nine, and again she will be in the uh, at the end of the video. And then I got her this little bandana to match her brothers. Ollie got the blue one, and I got Pixie the pink one. So it's just very thin little strap, and it of course is adjustable. So. And then it looks like this can come off if you need to wash it at all. And then it's very, it's got a nice big hole here to thread the, the leash or the uh, collar back in. So when I put Ollie's uh, little collar on, he thought he was in trouble. I have a collar that I use for when he's barking a lot and uh, it gives him just a uh, a little vibration or it can uh, beep and he just doesn't like it so he thought he was uh, being punished <laughs> but yeah so it was really really cute and that was a dollar 29 and the next item is I got another little toy for Ollie like I said his favorite color is green so and this one is nice because again it has no stuffing in it no stuffing well the head has stuffing but the body is nothing there is something in here though oh a squeaky I'm not gonna squeak it so there's two squeakies in here there's one right here which is probably supposed to be in the head and then there's one right here this was two dollars and ninety nine cents but yeah it's really really cute so Probably use it almost like a dish rag though. <laughs> These little things sticking out. It's funny. But yeah, I got it just because it's green and Ollie loves green. So then there's that. Uh, the next one is I got for $1.99, I got these uh, pet grooming scissors. I'm real, always really scared to get Pixie around her eyes there. Um, I do have other scissors I use, but do you see how these are curved? And they feel like they would cut really, really nice. And then they have the uh, not sharp edges at the very top. They're all rounded. So, but yeah. So I just usually try to trim around her eyes there a little bit when it gets really, really bad. But yeah, nice, really nice pair of scissors. And like I said, they were only $1.99. So really, really nice. And it comes in there. Oh, it's own little package here. So I'll put it back in there. And then 
I got this here. I'm oh, going to have to... Now, I know it's not exactly my pet, but... <laughs> I have said before how much I like to sit outside and watch the birds. Well, I got this cute little hummingbird feeder. Isn't that cute? This is only $3.99. I do have a uh, pole outside that I can hang it on. So you just fill this with a bit of sugar water. And yeah. It's really, really... And it's all metal. This, of course, is just plastic. But this is really, really solid metal. So really, really nice. Very happy with that. And it's got the little holes on the top for the hummingbirds. Yeah, really, really cute. Now, I don't. The only thing with this, I'm not sure, because it's got the holes on top. I mean, I don't know how they would. And plus, oh, I don't want to break it yet. Like I said, it is just plastic, so I'm not too sure about this. But anyway, you'd have to keep this thing filled in order for them to get. Now, I do know they have long beaks. So I don't know how far, but, but yeah, so you'd have to probably fill it if you have a lot of hummingbirds every day. If you could figure out how to take the top off, like I said, I don't know. It should just twist, but, oh, it does. There you go. And I didn't break it. So yeah. So like I said, it doesn't hold a lot, but you should probably change their water every day anyway. And yeah, so I'm hoping, like I said, I'm going to get some hummingbirds this year. We do have a lot that, around here in the spring, so I'm looking forward to seeing if that will attract them or not. And then last but not least, I got this little rubber foamy brush thing for when I do their, I'll give them their bath, if I can get into it. Okay, I need my scissors. Maybe. Oh no, I got it. <laughs> Me and my packages. I have like the worst time getting into them. But anyway. So this is very, very squishy, very soft. But this is what it looks like. So you feel it in the top there. There's a place to open. Maybe. So you put your your uh, dog shampoo or cat shampoo if you do your cats. I don't know how many people actually do cats. Good luck with that because my cats had come back with the uh, arms scraped up so badly. <laughs> but yeah, so you put the shampoo in there and you close the lid. And then it's supposed to come out of here and then you just rub it on their skin. Or on their fur, I should say. So yeah. It feels really good it is very it's a silicone um, massage it's called a silicone mat a silicone massage rubber bath comb with shampoo <laughs> you know how the long titles for T will have uh, unbelievable but yeah so yeah hopefully that will be a benefit for when I'm giving them their uh, baths Pixie and Ollie both get um, really short haircuts for the summer because it is hot out here. Uh, when I had them in Canada, even though it does get warm in the summers, but uh, I had usually Pixie's hair quite a bit longer. But when I moved out here, I got it cut short. Just so she was just too hot. And she likes to be outside with me, so. And yeah, so like I said, I think that's going to work really, really well. And I think I already broke it. Maybe not. Maybe it came like that. I don't know. But anyway, it'll probably fill out when. Oh, this whole thing comes off, by the way. And then it has a little container inside. Or a little thing to do the soap. So that's what the issue. And then you have to actually put it back into the little folds. Oh, well. Something that I'll pass over to my husband and say, here, can you fix this for me? 
And he'll say, geez, what did you break again? And I'll say, nothing. And he'll say, mm-hmm. <laughs> but anyway, guys. So, yeah, that's my haul. Like I said, this was my sponsored haul. Uh, thank you so much, Timu, for letting me uh, review your some of your pet products that you have. I am happy with all of them. I think the best thing I like um, is, is uh, you'll, and you'll see right after this, is Pixie's hat. You'll, you'll uh, <laughs> see it. It's so cute on her um, and her dresses. Um, and I like the, the hummingbird feeder, too. I really like this, too. So yeah, let me know what what your uh, favorite is. Again, um, if you haven't subscribed, yeah, just go over there, hit the hit the subscribe button. Uh, don't forget to uh, do the bell and uh, so you're notified uh, when I put out my videos. And um, just want to thank everybody for um, watching this. And yeah, if you give me a thumbs up and um, and comment, I would love to hear your comments. Yeah, just let me know what your favorite thing is. And I hope everyone has a very blessed evening, night, day, wherever you are. Um, just, uh, just so many blessings sent your way. Uh, and yeah, don't give up. Whatever you do, if you have that feeling of giving up, don't give up. Uh, I love you and God loves you. All right, guys. Bye. So this is Pixie. And you can see she's ready to go to town. She's got her little hat on. <laughs> I don't know how much she likes it. But yeah, she's still got little bows in her hair. And this is a little dress that she got. So yeah, she's all dressed up, aren't you? He's just a good girl. Yeah. Want to say hi? Say hi to the people. <laughs> oh. A good girl. So yeah, so the hat was one dollar and ninety nine cents, and her little dress was it was uh, yeah two twenty nine. So, and she loves to look. So I'm just going to drop her over here. Let's move this package. There you go, my girl. Ollie, is it your turn? Come here, Ollie, Ollie. Well, you're gonna get Ollie. And Pixie is a Maltese mix. Oh. <laughs> and this is Ollie. He he he's a toy destroyer, aren't you? And he's got on a cute little bandana. And we got some toys for him. This is the one, I think I showed this one yesterday. Yeah, well, this is what he did to it. He got the squeaker out. Or not yesterday, probably the day before. But yeah, it was the cow. Anyway, it was in one of my videos. But yeah. <laughs> he doesn't want it now because, you know, he's already destroyed it and the squeaker's not in there anymore. So he couldn't really care less about that. He wants what's in this bag here. This is what he wants. Right, Ollie? Oh, yeah. So we'll get him out a toy. Oh, his bandana was... One moment. I'll get it. Uh, $1.29. $1.29. And let's see. Oh yeah, he's he's wanting to get right in there. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. Let me just move this down a little bit. As you can see he's got his head in the bag already. He's looking for his toy. This is what he does. <laughs> and he found it. Yep. Did you get it? What is that? I'm gonna help you. There you go. And this is a toy. It's just got a little bone on it. But he, he actually rips it right out of this package, so he would be quite upset if I took this out. But this little bone was $1.99. <laughs> I 
Can you see? Yeah. He's all excited. He wants his toy. Wanna go get it? Go get it. Watch out. <laughs> and down he goes. Alrighty. So yeah, that's uh, what I kind of go through when I get these packages. You see, he goes absolutely crazy, and um, but I I love my uh, little pups. 